In the low country, Buford County home builders and buyers could see more money tacked on to their total price if a new set of fees is implemented. WSAB's Andrew Davis tells us what the fees are and why some say they're needed. It's called an impact fee. It's on top of the price of a brand new home that someone is building with the idea that it could go towards schools, parks, or even libraries. But there's a debate whether those fees will be in place at all and what it could mean to your bottom line coming in the future. The county levies a fee when you pull the building permit in order to offset costs of growth. Growth, which a 2020 study showed 41,000 new full-time residents in the county. People and families who use parks, schools, and other amenities. Things that the county say could be paid for through impact fees. The proposed EMS fee would bring in 4.1 million over the next 10 years. Now that will build about a EMS station. However, it gives us the money to go to the state to say, see, we're invested in this in this project, and then we can get state money to help augment our local money. Those fees, which have been implemented in every county in South Carolina, would be divided specifically wherever someone builds, either north or south of the Broad River. So the money paid by home builders there would stay in their part of the county. But some local town leaders and the builders themselves say the fees, which could be about $100 a month for the life of someone's mortgage, could stifle the area's growth and affect the long-term tax base. We still need homes for our workers here. $10,000 is going to price a lot of people out of being able to afford to build a home. The county says if those fees aren't put in place, that money will have to come from somewhere or someone else. So it's essentially a loan. So the county would have to take loans um, in order to meet this new growth, which then taxpayers would be paying back over 10, 20, 30 years uh, through their taxes. The first thing on the agenda, has everyone been negotiating in good faith? And should those negotiations continue? Or will the county council just go ahead and pull the plug on those impact fees and then look for other ways to try to pay for all those things we talked about before? The council will have their meeting and we'll have details for you later on News 3. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side.